Journaling can change your life. And I know that's very trendy because there are a shitload of journaling videos on the internet, but I wanna share one specific kind of journaling that I did for 365 days every single day and the impact that it had on my life. What's up you guys, Alex Hine here over at Modern Health Monk. So before we jump in, I've put together a free journaling worksheet as well as journaling email series. It's the first link below this video and it'll help you figure out how to get your life together and design your dream life going forward. So check it out, the first link below this video. So a little time warp rewind here. Around 2020, when the COVID-19 pandemic had begun, I was finishing up my doctorate. I had gone through a really bad breakup. I had no clarity on where I wanted to go forward in my life, where I would move, what job I would take. I had no savings. In other words, I felt very lost. So I decided to try a specific kind of journaling that was aligned with getting me more in flow. Now, as I was feeling really, really lost in this phase of life, I just said, you know what? I'm gonna journal every single day about what excites me and what my gut says. And I'm just gonna see what happens if I do that. That's it. I'm just gonna write down not my thoughts, not my feelings, not my worries. I'm gonna write down what excites me and what my gut says I should do next in my life. Those are the only things. And then I'm gonna just see what kind of unfolds from there. Now, I really did journal every day for 365 days. And I'll show you here, you can see day 201, money is a side effect of excitement, Susie Petit's, look at this, day 102. So I had a few of these little notebooks and I wanna share some of the lessons that came up from this that can help you. So my big realization first was that clarity leads to progress. In other words, you look at the new year and that's where everyone seems to reflect once on their life. Most of the time, for most people, we don't reflect on anything in life unless things are really not going well, right? We reflect when we lose money, we reflect when we get dumped, we reflect when we have a health crisis, we reflect when we look in the mirror and don't like who we see. But in reality, if you reflect every single day, that clarity will provide a lot of progress in your life. For example, if every day you think, I just wanna get 1% better at being a student, or in my job. Chances are every single day you're thinking about how to get better grades. How can I be a better employee or how can I run my business better as an entrepreneur? Chances are those are really going to make a big difference in your life because every single day you're gonna come up with strategies and every single day you're gonna figure out what can I do about my habits that will help me live a better life. So the first was that clarity leads to progress. And so the more you are thinking day to day about what it is that you want, and what it is specifically you need to improve, or even what parts of your life you need to improve. That's very likely, certainly much more likely than the average human life to get better over time faster. The second realization for me was that if you just think about your life, you're a lot more likely to have the life you want happen. I cannot tell you the number of people I've talked to who are in their 40s. And look, when you're young, like let's say young is uh, 25 or under. When you're young, because everyone tells you you have a lot of time, that is, number one, the wrong answer. You don't have a lot of time. And number two, because people tell you that, it steals from you. It snatches the urgency that you actually need to create the life you want now. So if someone tells you you have a lot of time, that's bull. You don't. Because 30 is going to be here in a minute, 40 and 50. And you know what I hear from a lot of people? It's really like in the mid-30s, around 40, where people who frankly most of the time were not being deliberate about what they wanted and did not think about what they wanted and took daily action steps towards what they wanted, most of the time, that's when those life regrets set in. Because people say, I thought I'd be further by now. I thought I'd have that business. I thought I'd make six figures. I thought I'd have a healthy body. I thought I'd be married. I thought I'd be dating the person that I'm really serious about. I thought I would have traveled more. And most of the time, those things don't happen. Not because they can't but because we weren't thinking about what we actually wanted and we weren't actually trying to make that a reality on a day-to-day -day basis. So very often, just by having some vision of what you want that you look at daily, it's more likely to happen. Now my third thought is that deliberate living is the path out of a rut. One of my favorite self-growth authors, Earl Nightingale says, a rut is a grave with the ends kicked out. So it's the end, but the ends are kicked out, right? Forever, ad infinitum. You know, very often what happens is people pray that things will get better in life. Pray that 
God will give me the money I want, the job I want. I'll find the person I want. But then it doesn't happen. And I think it's a silly strategy on its own, honestly, to pray that by 30, you'll meet that person by luck and not do anything. By 30, you'll have the dream health, the dream body, the finances, that your business will just take off and you'll magically make six figures. I think this is delusional. Sure, pray, but have a strategy. And I think for many of us, we're not deliberate about what we want and the things we want to do on a daily basis that can make that happen. So think, what do you actually want on a daily basis? And am I taking action steps towards that? And one of the best ways to do that is by using a little journal. So I hope those realizations help you guys. Check out the link below for the free journaling worksheet and the exercises, and I'll catch you soon.